Welcome, everybody, to take two of Fools and Fables, The Wild Sheep Chase. Yeah. Uh, so, if you were here last week, you know we had some technical difficulties with uh, Tabletop Simulator, so we've decided to go a little lower tech, uh, playing yeah. on D&D Beyond itself. So, uh, we're going to try to make it as visually uh, interesting as possible, but... You're here for the story, yeah. if you're here. So I hope you can. Uh, you, so you like ignore you the portraits underneath ours. Those aren't our characters. No. Uh, so before we get started, uh, first and foremost, I want to say that. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Oh, the game log is there. Okay. Just um. Like... First off, I want to say we got this campaign from uh, Winghorn Press. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun. It's a nice short campaign for me to kind of dip my toes in oh, God, DMing no. as well as to just kind of give us something to work with while we decide uh, how far we want to take this. Um, mm -hmm. For today's party, we have Kevin as I'm going to let I'm going to just run down the names and then let them give their actual introductions. We got Kevin as Craig, the Dragonborn Paladin. Yep. We've got Finn O'Hara, uh, the Gnome Bard, played by Tim. Hello. And then serving as an npc to help buff up the party a little bit is one of my own characters talos the warforged uh he's an artificer yeah all right so you guys want to give a little more introduction about your characters go ahead kevin okay craig is oh, i got i would love to read the backstory but apparently that ruins all the setup i have so i have to open up like a new window or something for this to work but whatever uh craig is uh, Craig was wandering the world, just traveling to all the monasteries, and he went up to one and was like, Hey, what is God, this god you're talking about? And his reference was, and the only information he got was, God was created in, was created us in the image of the most powerful and wise beings. So Craig is forever on a quest to find God, also known as dragons. Because <laughs> Craig thinks that God looks like him. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's my brief introduction. I wrote it much more eloquently, but I can't fucking read it right now. <laughs> he, he's not a smart boy, but he's, he's a good boy. He's not. He has a heart. <laughs> like he won't be tricked by really obvious shit. But like, you could probably like throw like an artifact to quest in his path, and he'll just go <laughs> for it. No questions asked. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, let me remove. Let me open a new tab so I can be smart about this. Yes, so I don't have to I worry about the new window. I did the exact same thing. All right, uh, and Tim, you want to introduce uh, Finn? Uh, Finn is a bard from the port town of Dingleport. Uh, he was banished after a prank gone wrong. He's the world's tallest gnome and has the same proportions as Danny DeVito. Uh, it's a very important detail I have to throw in. Um, yeah, he, he ran with a few Thieves Guild, and he's generally just trying to get his life back on track and make up for his past crimes. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right. And just a brief uh, bit on Talos. Uh, as with all Warforged, uh, it's really impossible to tell what their average lifespan is, and that goes especially for Talos whose memory is very spotty. All he knows is what memories he do ha does have are back and forth between trying to interact with other civilizations and isolation. He doesn't really have a frame of reference for the actual time span between these memories, and what he does know is very patchy. He became an artificer because, well, he needed to learn how to repair himself as time went on and maintain his own parts, and over time he just started tinkering with other things. All right, but we're going to get started here because uh, after what I'm sure was some daring adventure that we don't have time for now, your party of three is chilling out at a local tavern. When all of a sudden, down the road outside, you start to hear a lot of commotion. A lot of screams, a lot of crashing, a lot of people jumping out of the way. And most confusingly, a lot of bang. Like there's a sheep. All of a sudden, just so, a sheep with black and white colored uh, wool and curly horns 
busts through the door of the tavern, and after looking around, uh, eyeballs specifically Finn and Talos and comes straight up to them. Uh, as he gets closer, you notice something in his mouth. What do you do? Uh, Kevin, you want to take the lead here? I don't know. He didn't notice Craig. <laughs> um, I retrieve the scroll from his mouth. All right. Uh, as you pick it up, uh, you see the seal on it identifies it as a modified sc- uh, scroll of Speak with Animal. Okay. Um, I start speaking uh, gibberish. In a she in the sheep language. Well, you have to open the scroll first and read it. <laughs> I'm sick. I open the roll and I begin to read. As you do so, all of you suddenly start to hear the tra- the sound of bang from the sheep. Slowly transition to a very kind of posh uh, elven accent. Oh, thank God! Can you finally understand me? Oh, I have been. Stuck in this trying to find anybody magically gifted to understand me all day. It's truly been a trial. Please, you seem the adventuring sort. I need your help. My name is Finithia Shinebright. Please, hold your applause. I know, I know. You might have heard of me. Uh, I can tell you with pure confidence, I have never heard of you in my life. Well, you, the tall, metallic chap, you must have heard of me. Talos just kind of tilts his head, and you can tell he's a little confused. Uh, fine. The the big scaly chap. You, have you heard of me? Craig heard of sheep. Sheep go great with 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 gravy. <laughs> okay, you are the least helpful, and I'm gonna stand a little further away from you. Thank you. Uh, my who I am is regardless, but I need your help. You see, I, I'm obviously not always a sheep, and I really need help of adventurers to undo what has happened to me. As he's starting to explain, suddenly you hear another commotion outside. This one a lot less shocked, like it, like a sheep charging through a crowd, and a lot more fearful. As something is scaring people and shoving them out of the way as it gets closer to the tavern you're in. Oh, God. As the noise draws closer, Finithia suddenly looks very frightened and goes to try to hide behind the bar. Uh, oh, God, is the, neighborhood, is the neighborhood flasher back at it again? I knew this guy would do it. Suddenly, a large half-orc bursts through the door, accompanied by three wolves with iron collars and a large, hairy, cloaked figure behind him. Somebody missed the barber some a little earlier this week, huh? Craig leans over to le- leans over to Finn. Which one? Which one's going to flash us? <laughs> I don't think it's a flasher. The cloak guy, maybe, but I don't think so. He usually the half orc is surveying the bar, and his wolves are all like sniffing around and eventually point towards behind you guys behind the bar. As he comes up to you three, uh, he can see the hint of wool over the bar counter. He looks down at you and says, That sheep is the property of my employer. I would greatly appreciate having it returned to us. Craig Craig demands how he creates giant flashes of bright light. (laughs) Uh, The the half-orc who introduces himself as Guz is now not looking at Craig. He's specifically focusing on Finn and Talos. <laughs> well, first of all, who is this master guy you're talking about? My master is a great and powerful wizard, and that sheep is his property. I'll be taking it back now if you'd move out of my way. Hmm. So, in what sounds like to Guz as just panic baz, uh, you hear Finithir shout, Don't let him take me! Shut your fucking mouth. Buddy. Pal. The wolves are now, like, trying to, like, yank on their chains to get towards behind the counter. <laughs> Let, let's take it easy. Let's talk this out a little bit. How about that? Well, right. My master's a reasonable and powerful man. 
we can make it worth your while. Money, or maybe a magical favor? How about you leave the sheep and leave us alone? I'm giving you one last chance. Craig, Craig does a counter intimidation out of my way. <laughs> uh, Craig does a counter my... intimidation roll to try to scare them all. <laughs> yeah. uh, you want to try to use an intimidation roll? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, give me a roll of a d20. Uh. Is that in the log, or do I have to do it outside? Well, so uh, you should be. There should be a dice tool on here uh, somewhere. I'll, like if I'll... you go to your character sheet, uh, there should be a dice tool. Okay, hold on. Uh, <laughs> view. Oh, God, I got rid of the chat. Oh, well, da, da, da. it's in the bottom left. Bottom, bottom left. left. Oh, okay. Oh wow! Look at oh that. yeah! Wow! What do you know? All right, a D twenty. Cool. To oh, uh, to everyone roll. Well, no, I... you're the one trying to intimidate Gus, so roll. It okay, so it's self. Ah, oh, damn. It was it's it's a five plus four, so it's not going well. <laughs> oh, Tim, Tim got a roll? thirty-four apparently. Oh, was, I'm I... testing it out. Sorry. Oh, they ignore me. I was testing. Oh, okay. All right. I see. Um. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I, yeah, Guys I just kind of like figured. looks at you like you're an idiot. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> However, he hasn't taken kindly to your attempts to intimidate him, and he's very frustrated at this point. So I'm gonna need you guys to roll for initiative. Oh well, wait a minute. Can I say one thing to Gus before we do anything else? Uh, Go initiative ahead. Initiative first, I guess. How about this? You take your wolves. You take your little hairy friend back there, and you shove them so far up your ass, they come out your mouth. That, okay, that... Guz is now going to take a swing at Tim, giving Tim disadvantage on initiative. Well, I'm just going to roll my initiative then, I guess. Uh, what do I roll for initiative? Uh, D20. Okay, that's... Uh... Alright, to everyone, I roll... Oh my fucking god, I rolled a 2. <laughs> Rolled a three. I got like a seventeen last time. <laughs> oh, oh, of course. Now that everything matters, I guess. <laughs> cool. We're off to a great start to the story, Jack. Yep. Uh, you should roll. No, hold on. I'm trying to. Something's not working right with my fucking uh the encounters thing. Give me a second while I fix this. All right. I'm gonna try to get back to fa. Oh, no. Oh no! Hold on, I need I need to retreat somehow back to the, back to the campaign. I forgot how to do that. Let me check the logs. Okay, cool. Well, no, it didn't really work, but whatever. Let me just make sure this is working again. Just ignore this one. I guess I'll keep the two. Yeah, I'm keeping the two. This is just... This isn't great. This isn't going to, uh... This isn't going well based on what I've rolled so far, even in my practice roll. Oh, hold on, guys. You roll... So... I rolled Tim, a two. Tim, what'd you roll for initiative? Two. Tim, what'd I... you get? Two. No, I mean, t Kevin, sorry, I meant... I okay, hold on. First I gotta well first I gotta give myself I gotta heal myself one because I didn't change from last time apparently. So I got a two, I just did a practice roll to see if the log was working, so ignore the the four. So you also got a two? No, no, I got a two. Tim, did you get a two as well? I got a two. You so we both oh, got no, I two? Got I got a three, my mistake. My mistake, I got a three. Oh, you got a three. Okay. Well, Talos thankfully rolled an 11. Oh, well, thank God. Anyway, so cool. let's start. <laughs> um, 
Okay, let me if I yeah. open it in a new tab. There we go. I'm smart. I'm so fucking. Uh, real clever. quick, can you guys see the uh, encounter that I've set up? Uh, no. Oh well. Um, you should be. Able, it should show up in the game log, so it should be fine. Yeah, the rolls will show up in the game log at least. Yeah. All right. Well, Guz is up first. Uh. And you can see while he is still pissed at you guys, he is also very much like aiming for the sheep. Um, shit. Is there a way I can jump in and try to deflect his hit? Well, you're currently in front of him, and he's still pissed at you. Mm. In fact, he's going to take a swing at you, Tim. Can I try to block it with my sword? Um, roll a d20. On it. 20, roll, self. Fuck! What'd Wait, you roll? I rolled a 4, but do, do I get to add anything to that or no? Well, Guz rolled a 19 uh, to hit, so I'm going to say no. What's your AC? My AC is... Should be at the top of your character sheet. 11. I'm assuming that means yeah, armor. That's going to hit. <laughs> okay, so how many health points am I taking off? Oh, you're in luck. Only five. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so let's see. Five points. So that would be... I'm really bad at math. Well, you oh. you have a health thing on the top right of your character sheet. All right, 18. I'm down to 18. All right. Uh, now it's up to the wolves. Uh, they're not going to attack, but all three of them are kind of advancing towards the back of the bar. Yeah. Um, Talos is up now. And, uh, let's see, what's Talos going to do? Fuck, I got to pull up. Talos's character sheet. <laughs> yep. Um, D and D with all the thrills of shit. What can my character can do? Talos is gonna use his crossbow to try to hit one of the wolves uh, <laughs> moving towards the back of the bar. Go so, for it. Ah. Well, hold on. Well, shit. So, unfortunately, it does not hit. Can we can we start huh. over? Can we, can we use the scroll of do overs and restart the world? Because this isn't going well. Oh, please, you're Kevin. You haven't even gone yet. <laughs> so, at this point, the large hairy cloaked figure reveals itself to be a polymorphed brown bear. Oh my god! Well. The cl well, clever girl <laughs> or boy. <laughs> so <Clever wolf. laughs> it's still it's let's get I'm just going to say it's like just going to take this turn to move towards you guys. Tim, your turn. Um. So I get back up. And despite being hit by this orc. Or whatever the hell he is. Half orc. I'm gonna go after those wolves to keep the sheep safe. So okay. I'm gonna go with my long sword and strike at one of like the head wolf, like the front one. So what do you uh, want me to roll? Uh, well, so on your character sheet, uh, let me get the campaign open so I can check this, because I can actually help you with this bit if I can get this open. Sorry, a lot of this is just fucking going to different sheets. D&D &D is not a visual uh, art form, despite what people have said. So you're trying to take a swing with your longsword? Yes. Alright, uh, where it says hit slash DC on that, I want you to roll that real quick. Just click that number and it'll roll it for you. I got two. Uh, which, plus uh, four, so you get a six. Unfortunately, the wolves have an armor class of twelve. 
Man, the fucking website's giving us the worst rolls. Or of 13, rather. So, All right. what happens? All right, great. How do you get the uh, the two hit, by the way? The what? How do you get the, like, the... I see that Finn O'Hara has longsword to hit, which is, like, six. How do you guys get that? Oh, so on... It's the hit slash difficulty check uh, on your on your actions. That's to, like, determine if you actually do, like, successfully perform the attack, and then afterwards you roll for damage. Okay, okay. Skill... No, that's... No, it's on actions. Actions. On the right side of your character sheet. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. Inspiration manager. Same thing happens with spells. Uh, oh. Okay. Shit. No, I'm back. Yeah, I'm really struggling right now. We should have practiced this. Uh, let's see. Craig, is it manage? Let me try no, to... It's... Go to your character sheet, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, for some... Here's the thing. I am at the character sheet. Okay. Uh, you see on the yeah, right no, side of... You see, uh, well, yeah, yeah, I see all this stuff. Under okay. your armor class and all that, you have action, spells, inventory, all that, under yeah. actions. Okay. And we're... So, first off, hold on. First off, Tim, do you want to do any bonus actions or anything? Um... Hmm. I go to... Because you, you I... can... I go to punch. Uh, I go to you punch. Can use a spell. You can use healing word, or you can use bardic inspiration. Um, healing word, bardic inspiration. Those are, like, if you had a second weapon equipped, you could also use two two weapon fighting, but you don't. I mean, I have uh, unarmed strike. I mean, I guess I could let you do that if you want to. Yeah, let's fight. fight. Let's let's. I'm gonna, All right, I'm gonna... roll the hit. Ch roll the hit check. Oh. 20. You got a Wait. 20 on the unarmed? 20 plus 4. Tim, what what did you do that you're on fucking death saves? I, I, I'm trying to figure it out. I was kind of messing around with the health thing to figure it out, and it just kind of went to that. I was trying yeah, to... I wish you hadn't that. done that. <laughs> Alright, we're... Yeah, this website's like kind of a mess. Tim, but... so I can help you, can you quickly share your screen to Discord? No, no, I literally... Oh, wait, that, that might cause problems. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Well, just run yourself through it and, like, do three, like, let f successes, just so you're out of that. All right, what am I doing here? Where it says, like, death saves versus, uh, like, failure versus success, just do three successes. Or just yeah. one success, really. There you go. All right. No, so I wasn't. You, you raise your health back up to what it was. Well, I mean, bring it back down to eighteen still. But... No, that's what I meant. Bring it to eighteen. Or no, what the fuck? The fuck is this? Yeah, please don't mess around with the health system while we're in an encounter. That's a bad idea. Kids, always okay, practice that... before you stream. All right, and I landed on a. <laughs> D twenty for plus four. Oh yeah, you rolled a nat twenty plus four, so you're definitely fucking hitting with that unarmed strike. Uh, roll me damage, uh, which is just clicking the. Oh, it just does three bludgeoning damage. So you're doing that to the wolf. The front yeah, the, wolf. the front wolf. I'm punching him in the face and the snout. Run right the snout. Take a closer look at that snout. All right, and that'll end your turn, Craig. Your turn. All right, so let's see, I don't really have them in a nice line, so I'm gonna do a attack with a long sword against who? Against uh, I guess since uh, since Gus is right there, I'm just gonna try to get him off Tim. <laughs> let's see, uh, let's see. Roll your hit check for me, please. To everyone. Whoops. No, oh. you don't have to do it. Okay, there you go. Uh, so that's a, a 10. 10, and you're trying to hit Guz? I guess yes. so, yeah. Did you roll the hit check, or did you just roll a d I just rolled the die, because like, I have no, the no, damage. No, check, because you have modifiers on that. I have plus... Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, there we go. See? Okay, cool. There you go. Another nat 20. See, where's where were these rolls earlier? 
Yeah, okay. So now uh, I just do the it's two... It's called scoring? Now you just click the damage. Yeah, the slashing or the... God, now I have two. It's your choice. I... Fuck it, the bottom one seems more powerful. No, I made... Is it the bottom one? I did eight. It's a crit, apparently. All right, so... All right, and do you have any bonus actions you want to do? Uh, I got Sanctuary first, and then two weapon fighting. Uh, one moment. Oh, just I I'm, think it's weird. I'm pulling up everyone's what... character sheets so I can just be able to double check stuff. Um, let's see. You have bonus actions. Yeah, you have two weapon fighting, or you can cast Sanctuary. So you can do you can either use your breath weapon or you could do unarmed strike. All right, let's 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 do this unarmed strike then. Why not? All right, roll uh, the hit. It's a fourteen plus five, so it's nineteen. All right, that's gonna hit, and now just roll the damage. Undefined four. <laughs> All right, duh. All right, and that's also against Guz. Yeah, yeah. So that's a twelve. In total. All right, and moving on. All right, it's Guz's turn again. Um, let's see. We should probably uh, we should probably state that this might as well just be a podcast. <laughs> so if well, y'all want to do right. something listening, right. you want to. Guz is gonna go ahead and retaliate and do his whirling greatsword towards Craig. Oh. So let's see. Uh, Ooh, Kevin, uh, what's your armor class? Nineteen. Ooh, it's even. You block the hit. <laughs> oh, look at you go, Craig. Very nice, Craig. Very nice. Proud of you. <laughs> I'm just imagining this giant guy just spinning around in a circle, doing like the final like death strike, and then it just like hits Craig's shield, and it just doesn't do anything. Dang. <laughs> All right. Uh, one of the wolves is again like kind of advancing towards uh, the sheep. At this point, Finithia realizes what's going on, and is kind of just starting to run around. So I'm going to say two of the wolves are occupied chasing him. The third wolf is going to attack uh, Finn. Oh, so, okay. Wait. With my sword, I can, like, retaliate? So, so, he rolled a nine, so he doesn't even hit you, Tim, so you're good. Got it. Cool. I'll just wait. Um, all right, Talus's turn. Uh, so let's see. What is Talus going to do? I think it's time for some spells. Wait, so I have a question. By three wolves, you mean the one that's like a bear, right? No, there's three wolves and a bear. No, there's three wolves, the bear, and then uh, the big guy. Okay. So the man in the cloak was a bear. Okay. Yes, it was a polymorphed bear, which is an interesting thing, considering the guy begging your help is was polymorphed into a sheep. Hint, oh, I see. hint, foreshadowing, foreshadowing. Wait a minute. I'm suspicious now. Uh, so Talos is going to try to cast Catapult, which requires him to make a dexterity check of 13. Damn it. Talos <laughs> eats shit in the wall. That's what he does. Well, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. The creature he's aiming at must make a dexterity check. The creature, in this case, is the bear. <laughs> oh, so the bear goes down. Well, hold on. The bear needs to make a dexterity check. Oh, my God. Are you, hold on. Are you fucking kidding me? The bear makes the dexterity check. By how much? Exactly. Oh, Dang. so he just fucking smacks you back. Um, let's see. On a... Uh, when the... 
No, he just dodges the uh, like the thing he threw at him, which I'm gonna say was like a heavy beer stein. <laughs> yeah. Um. Let's see. What does Talos have in the way of bonus actions? Ooh. Yeah, let's go with that. Eldritch Cannon Flamethrower. <laughs> Ooh. Wait. Where is Talos in relative to us? No, actually, yeah. He he thinks about it for a second and realizes this is a very flammable room. Yeah. He's, you see why uh, I didn't want to use... Fighting, so he's going to use the mace that he carries with him to yeah. also follow up on there. Ooh, nat 20. So that's going to yeah. definitely hit. And then... Uh, five. Nice. Bad damage. So, uh... Who angered uh, the luck gods today? <laughs> What do you mean? We've been rolling d20s. That is true, but only on, like, checks. We haven't been rolling it on attack. All right, the bear is going to kind of retaliate at Talos and go in for a bite. Well, what, what, what now? Well, it rolled a nine, so it's not even going to affect Talos. He is strong and metal. <laughs> All right. Um, Tim, you're up. All right, so I'm being I'm still being chased by these wolves, right? Yeah, the 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 wolves are chasing the sheep. Two Got of them it. are. Um, wolves A and B. Um, blah, 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 blah. Wait a second. Look at my spells. Actually, I'm curious if I should do something here. Um, detect magic, healing ward, sleep, unseen servant. You know what? I'm gonna try. Wait, this actually might affect everybody in the room. What are you think? What are you thinking? Tell me. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted, idiot. This spell sends. So I'm looking at the sleep spell. This spell sends creatures into a magical slumber. Roll five d eight. The total is how many hit points or creatures this spell can affect. Creatures within twenty. Okay, yeah, it's within a twenty foot radius. From what I'm gathering here. Wait, wait, no. Creatures within 20 feet of a point you choose within a range are affected in ascending order of their current hit points, ignoring unconscious creatures. Just keep in mind that if you cast this and you don't roll high enough, then it's not going to affect some of the enemies. I'm going to focus on the three wolves. Can I do that or no? Well, so you have to... Uh... Roll five d8s. Five d8s. Yes. So d8, d8, d8. Where is my d8? Okay, so I'm gonna roll the first one. Roll to everyone now. Roll self. I think you should be able to like set to do multiple at once. Oh shit! Really? Let me try that. Well, I already rolled one, and it landed on a one, I believe. Everyone, roll three. Uh, yeah, three, roll, two, roll, one. I warned you. Six. Okay, so you're up to 12, you get one more. Do I? I thought I rolled five times. One, uh, two, I'm only seeing four. Three, two, four. one, six. One. Three, two, one, six. Oh, you rolled a... I didn't see the first one. My bad. Yeah, so I got what? So it's up to 13. Okay. So I'm going to say all the wolves are now affected by sleep. So hit cast uh, on the spell. Cast, 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 cast. Sleep. It's the red button next to the spell name. Here we go. I hit cast. Nothing happened. Well, it's just to make sure it marks one of your spell slots. Oh, well, now what do I do? Uh, well, now I'm going to just say all three wolves in the vicinity just kind of, like, collapse on the ground. You, at first, Guz panics for a second, thinking they're dead, but then he just hears them snoring. Uh, what song should I have played on the bagpipes to get them to sleep? 
uh, the goodbye song from Bear in the Big Blue House. <laughs> no, don't make me sad. <laughs> um, let me make double check something. Oh, okay, so there are my spell slides. Perfect. All right. Um, do you want to take any bonus actions? Can I pet one of the wolves on the head? Sure. <laughs> You could do Bardic Inspiration, but no. Let's pet the wolf. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll do that instead. All right, so go ahead and, like, tick off one of your slots of Bardic Res Inspiration. Oh, Tim, that wolf that? needs to be pet. It's under your actions, <laughs> under bonus actions. All right. Bardic Inspiration. As a bonus action creature other than yourself within 60 feet that can hear you gains an inspiration die, 1d6. For 10 minutes, the creature can add it to... One ability check, attack roll, or save throw. This Basically, if you, I don't know, gave it to Kevin, and Kevin rolled shitty next turn, then he could then buff it with that Bardic Inspiration. I'll give it to Kevin then. He's next. Okay, let me turn on the Inspiration. Uh, yeah, that's the other nice thing, is there's actually a point in your character sheet that lets you like account for Bardic Inspiration automatically. Okay. All right, right, Kevin, you are up. What do you want to do? All right, let's uh, let's reduce, reuse, recycle. Let's let's do another longsword attack against uh against uh Guz here. All right, roll the check. Motherfucker! Damn. So <laughs> Guz is taking another hit. All right, uh, roll damage. But here's here's the catch. I'm gonna use my slashing attack. Right. Here we go. It's a twelve. Damn. But. I, I read that I have, uh, apparently I have Divine Smite. <laughs> when I hit with a melee weapon attack, I can expend one spell slot to do 2d8 extra radiant damage to the target. Oh. Plus 1d8 for each spell level higher than the first or something like that. <laughs> Let's stick with the 2d8. <laughs> All right. So roll 2d8. <laughs> I'm really excited right now. <laughs> God damn, Kevin. Wait, it, it didn't fully... I oh got 11. God. So that's 23 damage to Guz. And what's his, what's check, his health bar like? Let me check uh, my spells because I expend one slot, As opposed slot, to right? his original health of 67. Mm -hmm. Damn, Kevin's putting the wolf in right now. All right. Uh, Guz lets out a very loud yell, yell as you hit him. Mm -hmm. uh, that looked like it really fucking hurt. So yep. much so that his character portrait now looks injured. <laughs> So it's like the it's like the Doom health bar, kinda yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Greg then uses All his right. bonus action. I'm gonna action say to that was your bonus action is using Divine Smite on that. So is we're it? gonna continue oh, on to the damn. next round. That's fine. Oh, I was gonna pet a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> they need to be pet, damn it. <laughs> no, they're fine. We might, we might, my spell might not be uh, strong enough. You look over to the wolves and you see that one is having a dream and running sideways on the ground. <laughs> no, it's so precious. Craig, don't worry. I, I, I have an idea. If we get rid of Guz, I have an idea. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, well, it's Guz's turn, and he is fucking reeling uh, from that attack, and he's looking right at Craig. Very Craig angry. is ready, motherfucker. Uh. Like, Fuck! He rolled an 18. He doesn't hit you. <laughs> Wait, he doesn't hit you? No, because Craig's not He's a Kevin's armor class. He's wow. a paladin, dude. Sure. I mean, it hits him, but it doesn't do shit, is my point. <laughs> wow. Kevin, look at you go. Paladins are tanky motherfuckers. So now what? Also, someone's probably going to be in the comments and tell me I'm wrong about that, by the way. <laughs> Probably. But I think cares? armor class subtracts from damage, honestly, but yeah, I think it's like the hit and then the damage, and then the armor class subtracts from the damage. I think that's how it works, but whatever. Alright, what's next? What? I'm not gonna undo anything for, like that's already been done, including this term. I just want to make sure. Mm -hmm. <clears throat>
Can Craig continue to eat his sandwich while waiting? <laughs> yes. Yes, the sandwich from episode try one is back. Craig can finally finish that damn sandwich. <laughs> Okay, um, anyway, we're moving on to the next turn. Right. Uh, the wolves are still asleep. <laughs> so it's Talos' turn. Yes. Ha-ha. Aha! Um, Sorry. Talos is going to go ahead and try to... <laughs> uh, if if you thought a, if a robot could do an evil laugh you think Talos would be doing one right now because mm -hmm. his eyes glint in a concerning way as he starts messing with something and using his action to create an eldritch cannon he then uses his bonus action uh, to use the Eldritch Cannon Flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Did we did we agree this was a bad idea? <laughs> uh fine. He doesn't make the flamethrower. He makes the force ballista. Okay. <laughs> um and that has a uh can deal an attack worth 2d8. Okay. Uh, well, so one well, second. What does it hit is the real question. Well, no, I think the cannon doesn't have a hit check. Oh. Also, he rolled a 9. And he's going to aim for the bear. Got it. Mm -hmm. um, but that's that makes up his main action and bonus action. So, moving on to the brown bear's turn. Uh, it reels back and, like, slings an attack at the ballista in retaliation. Um, one second, let me double check something. <clears throat> Can you feel the love? Hold on a second, am I still inspired or no? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say yes. Okay. But, uh... Wait. Or what no, I you... think you, I'm gonna say you used up your bardic inspiration okay. to deal that blow to Guz. Oh sure, take away my twenties. All right. <laughs> uh, bear uh, tries to take a bite out of Talos's cannon. It doesn't work. That shit's built sturdy. Yep. Just like Talos. Uh, the bear's then going to use multi-attack to try to slash his claws at it. That does hit. <laughs> and he's going to deal 10 damage to Talos' cannon. Damn. Uh, which halves the thing's health. Damn. Well, wait, you know what they say. If you can't take a bite out of crime, claw the fuck out of it. <laughs> All right, Tim, it's your turn. Cool. Um, I'm going to go for Guz. Um, let's see. What are you going to do? I'm debating. I kind of want to just go with my sword and do like a front flip slice. Is that All right, roll the hit. You want to you do it? You, I'll right. let you try. Uh, roll me an acrobatics check first, actually. Uh oh. Whoops. We're going to pretend that... Well, that if you pull off this acrobatics check, that will cause it to hit. 
So All go right. to your character sheet. Okay. And uh, where you see acrobatics at the top of your little, like, proficiencies, just hit that plus, like, two over there. Got it. And eight. You stumble a little bit, but you still manage to half competently do, like, not a flip, but you somersault. Let's say that. Okay, that works. And I slice at the guy, and I got a 15 with it. What's that do? Roll damage. Uh, what do I roll damage with? Uh, just click over on your longsword and just roll damage. Oh, my mistake. Slash it. Fuck. That's seven damage. You did okay. it. Okay. <laughs> uh, what happens? Well, what, now what happens in the story, Jack? Uh, Guz is more bewildered than he is hurt. <laughs> bewildered how? Well, he just saw a gnome, a very large gnome, he assumes. He kind of assumes you're a dwarf, but he's not sure. Do a somersault at him, and then just slash at him with a sword. <laughs> it's a tactical roll. He's like, what? Yeah, again, yeah. He, he's confused more than anything. He's, he's kind of terrified of it. Uh, any bonus actions? Um, bonus, 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 bonus. You do an unarmed strike. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna punch him in the dick. Alright, roll the hit check. Got please, it. Please please be a crit. <laughs> Thirteen plus four. Seventeen. Uh you just sock him right in the nuts. Not enough to fully incapacitate him, but he's feeling it. Uh roll damage. <laughs> uh no, I just hit the lunch. Oh, yeah, it's a solid number, isn't it? Uh so that's three damage. I think you should have two for the dick. All right, Craig, your turn. All right. <laughs> how does a uh, just out of quick curiosity? How does throwing like uh, I have a I have an at hatchet in my inventory. If I throw that at him, how does that damage work? <laughs> uh. You have a hand axe. What are you talking about? Oh, isn't that what? You, well, hand axe. Don't you, I thought I'd said throwable. I got confused. My bad. No, it says throwable. Okay. Uh, I'll let you equip it and use it, but in exchange, you can't do a bonus action this time. Oh, turn. well, damn. All right, so much for that. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Craig, Craig's just going to use his longsword again. Craig's not feeling very, very fancy. <laughs> no problem. Roll to hit. Shit. And who are you uh, aiming for? Oh, it's Guz. My bad. 14. <laughs> Alright, that's a hit. And uh, roll damage. Oh, a 9 this time. Alright. I thought it was a uh, 9. Guz is really starting to look pretty shaky. Mm -hmm. Craig is a... Uh... Let's see. Craig has a bonus action, right? Of a punching? Or should I just use an another spell strike? slot? Roll hit. <laughs> Wait, can I? An arm parts a melee attack, right? Can I use my bonus action to do the unarmed strike and then use the uh the the smite, or does that no, work? No, because normally I would have the smite take up your bonus. Action. Oh, okay, I see. All right, well, damn. You can still punch him regular, but I'm not gonna let you. Okay, Craig's gonna follow suit and punch him in the dick. <laughs> All right. Oh, that definitely fucking hits. Four bludgeoning uh, damage. damage. Four damage. Uh, okay, Guz is really looking like, why does everybody keep punching me in the dick? Craig is like, Craig is like, Tin Man, come punch man and dick. <laughs> Talos has to go in and punch him in the dick now. Uh, Guz, looking a little bow-legged, uh, is really starting to realize this fight isn't looking going his way. Sees his fucking wolves on the ground. The bear isn't as much help as he had hoped it would be. And he starts getting desperate. He locks on to where Finithir has taken up shelter in the bar. And just tries to bolt for him. Um. Oh. Finithir the sheep, not Finn O'Hara the... No. no, 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 I know that. I'm trying to think. Can I, like, jump in and try to, like, stop him? Or, like, cut his arm off? 
Hmm. Can we do like a team punch attack on him? Like <laughs> No, team slash attack. Let's oh. do it. <laughs> We've already punched a man in the dick. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna we... say not yet. Damn. Uh, I'll think about it. The wolves, while still asleep, they are starting to like stir. Uh, oh, Talos that. is going to... What is Talos going to do? Tal Tal uh, Tin Man, help Craig Talos punch... is going to take a sh try to take a shot at uh, Guz as he's running with his crossbow. Shoot him in the dick. Uh, not only does it hit, it does 9 damage, killing Guz. Oh um, my god, he shot him in the dick so hard and killed him. Guz just kind of like stops mid run and then just kind of collapses. Oh my god. Wait, but we don't know who his. I mean, we do know who his master is, right? Uh, I think Finithir will probably be able to tell you. Okay, got it. Oh, okay. Cool. So Guz is dead and his wolves are here. What do we do now? Oh, shit. Uh, well, it's. Uh, well, we saw the bear. <laughs> I was going to say, the wolves. Uh, stir awake and kind of run away. Uh, but uh, the bear is not looking as deterred. If anything, like he is cautious of you, but he's not running. Uh, by the way, Talos still has his bonus action. He is going to. Uh, he's going to use his bonus action to. Uh try to shoot his cannon towards uh the bear so let's see that's 2d8 yeah. good news liam we didn't kill any of your dog relatives <laughs> and he deals a, the cannon deals 11 damage to the bear was that does it kill it or no he's down to nine health though uh the bear uh realizing that the cannon's not the problem. Talos is. Turns to him and tries to take a bite out of his shiny metal head. Can I jump in to save Talos? Uh, let's see. Uh, what are your reaction actions? Uh, where do I go for that? It's, at, it's near the bottom of your actions oh. page. Well, shit. I actually have opportunity. I want to interact with an object, ritual spell, stick magic. Cutting reactions, actions in combat, opportunity attack, cutting words. As a reaction, when a creature that's not immune to being charmed, you can see within 60 feet, makes an attack roll, ability check, or damage roll. You can expend one use of bardic inspiration, roll the die, and subtract the number from the creature's roll. You okay, so go up, to, scroll up to bardic inspiration. Uh, I'm going to check off another one of your spell slots, and I want you to roll me a d6. All right, so... Click one square from the... I already, I already did. Okay. D6 time. Roll to everyone. Fuck. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, that's still gonna hit Talos uh, by the margin of one point. <laughs> um, and he's gonna deal 11 damage to our boy here. Man. Um. Wow. Wait, is it my turn or? Uh, it is now. Let me see something. Picture of your choice that you can see within range regains hit points equal to one d four. Your spellcasting ability modifier. This spell has no effect on undead or constructs. So I could use healing word to give you back health. Wait, is Talos a construct? No. No, no. he's. Uh, we're gonna say no. He's a fucking. He's a warforged. He's still a person, Kevin. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I I was just like, this construct mean like robots, like warforged, or is it different? <laughs> okay, so you're gonna use healing words on Talos. Yeah. All right, go ahead and roll that for me. Uh, I'm gonna cast it, or do I press cast or? Well, if you look, there's a roll for it. I mean, you're going to hit, like... I'll check off one of your spell slots, but go ahead and roll for it. So, roll plus... So it's 1d4 plus 3 hit points. Yeah, just click it. Alright, alright, 
Uh, what am I doing? Can... Jesus. No. Fuck, I'm rolling a d4. Fuck that land on. Three? Oh, land on three. And plus. that's plus uh three. Three. So that's gonna restore six to Talus. Okay. And can I do a bonus action or no? Sure. Uh I'm gonna can I throw my long sword at the bear? Uh long sword's not really a throwable weapon. Can I stab the bear? In the back with the long sword. I mean, you can make a swing at him, I guess. All right, cool. So should I just roll for four? Uh, roll, roll? Yeah, roll the hit. Nice. And that's at the bear, so that's gonna hit. Roll damage. Five. All right. That's a total of seven damage. Uh, the bear is on it, like on his last legs, down to two health. <laughs> Craig, you're up. Great, yay. Craig, do whatever you like to this bear. He ain't gonna do shit. Uh, can I use my animal handling? <laughs> um, oops, shit. All right, never mind. Let's let's skip the complicated thing. Let's do the fun thing. I'm gonna no, no, punch sorry. him. Sorry, I said shit because I clicked on something by accident. Oh. Um. Well, I, I decided to punch him. I rolled a nine. <laughs> Unarmed strike? Yeah. And you rolled a nine for the hit check. Yeah. Uh, that's not going to do it. Damn. <sighs> Can you use my bonus action to try to punch with the other arm? Or do I have to use the long sword now? Sure. Roll again. All right. Let's try punching him again. <laughs> this one, this one's an 18. <laughs> okay. So that's going to work. You killed the bear. I do like <laughs> a fake, like a faint, I guess. But it's not really a faint. I'm just going to say it's a faint, though. It's actually a miss, but I'm going to lie. As I said, the wolves seeing Guz and uh, the bear down wake up and panic and scatter. Mm -hmm. Fucking Ke Craig went in, swung, missed, and then came in with the uppercut and killed the bear. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I, like, m I miss, but, like, it looks enough like a faint, and then I uppercut him. <laughs> that was beautiful. Yeah. I don't know if it's a uh, unconscious or dead, but um. <laughs> hey, so we won. Yep, you won. Yeah. All right. Um, trying to see if there's something I have to do to end this. If not, I'm just gonna close out of here for now. Mm -hmm. Craig triumphantly takes the last bite of his sandwich. <laughs> All right. Uh, with the enemies defeated, uh, Finithir Shinebright, the sheep, uh, comes cautiously out of hiding, looking a little shaken up after being chased around by wolves. Um. Uh, anyway, you guys can uh, go on the back real quick. That, that was utterly ghastly. Thank you very much for your help. I, as I was saying before those ruffians appeared, my name... Is Finithia Shinebright, a great and powerful wizard. However, I was betrayed by my dastardly apprentice, the fool. His name is Nook. I always knew he was power hungry, but I never thought he would steal one of my most prized possessions and usurp me, leaving me as this and keeping me locked up. If it weren't for him carelessly leaving a door open one night, I would have never escaped. Please, I must beg of you, adventurers. You need to help me reclaim my wand from him in order to restore me to my true form and stop this madness before he does anything else. Craig, help sheep? <laughs> I'm, I'm not actually a sheep. I'm an elf. Craig, help a sheep. A wizard. <laughs> uh, where, did, where did the gnome disappear to? You, metal chap, you, you can help, right? T 
Talos just kind of like cocks his head to the side and says, sure. <laughs> uh, looking more serious for a moment, Talos inquires, what kind of wand? Ah, of course, of course, of course. How could I have not have missed it? As I have explained, I have not always been a sheep, obviously. No, unfortunately. Were you a goat? No, I was not a goat. But my apprentice stole a very valuable and powerful wand. You were a donkey. The wand of, the wand of true polymorph. My most prized possession. So do you fuck sheep, or...? I'm not always a sheep. <laughs> Craig wants to know who... turned me into this form because it was easier to keep me captive. Craig demands to know who is polymorph. <laughs> 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 Look, I'm happy you're finding this all very amusing, but I have been trapped like this for months. Okay, okay, okay. We In that time, he's amassed an army of minions, many polymorphed like that bear you fought earlier. If you don't help me, I don't know how what he will do with that power. Take over the world, probably. In order to turn me back and end this madness, we need to reclaim my wand and hit me again with true polymorph. Which means we need to get into my old home. My lab. He's still in there, though. And he's fortified the whole place. However, I know the layout of the building like the back of my hand. You don't have hands, you have hooves. So, do you agree to go along with Shinebright's idea? Um... I have a question for Shine Bright. Yeah. How much are you paying me? <sighs> I had hoped you would be more generous, but I've somewhat anticipated this. I am a powerful wizard with many resources. Mm -hmm. If you can help me, I can reward you both in gr in earthly riches as well as magical favors. All right, works with me. Let's do it. All right. All right. Rest now, because I cannot guarantee what ha awaits us when we get there. I'm so, the, where's the rest button? At the top of your character page, hit the long rest button. Okay. Take long rest. Long rest. Take the long rest. Okay. Boom. I took the long rest and it did not thank you. Oh, Did you I, gotta hit, it? I think we gotta hit confirm. There's like a three second countdown during which you have to click confirm. All right, all relevant Got abilities it. have been reset. Perfect. Also, I just realized I accidentally uh, long rested you, Tim, instead of my own guy. Um. Also, I just want to say you didn't acknowledge my, my reference if he doesn't have a hand. Well, in the moment, I was going to assume Shinebright would just yeah. kind of try to ignore that. Shinebright has been putting up with Craig since you left. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Shinebright is just like, just ignore it. <laughs> I, I was getting mini muffins, and I had to take a piss. Alright. This is, this is in canon. I left, <laughs> I left the scene <laughs> to go take a piss and eat mini muffins. Alright. The next day, uh... As in much to Shinebright's impatient insisting that we get up and move. Uh, you make your way out into the forest outside of the city uh, where a path to leads to uh, what was once Shinebright's, now uh, Noakes Tower. Ooh. Noakes Tower. You know, it's only a model. Shh. Um, Jesus. Uh, anyway. All right. Uh, so as you're along this path, uh, basically it's a few miles out of town. Uh, the road's pretty well traveled, uh, with some bushes along the side. What do you want to do? Uh, just go down the path. Yeah. Kevin? Craig, Craig's just like enjoying his time talking to the sheep being like so sheep 
not sheep. Sheep elf. <laughs> yes, I'm a wizard. Polymorph, anyway. not mortal. Polymorph type spell. <laughs> As you approach uh, the building, it's not really made of traditional building materials. Uh, on the contrary, it's kind of looks like it's made of living tree branches from four oak trees that have kind of been shaped and woven uh, to create a number of platforms. Um, basically, a bunch of like branches kind of curl around the base of this structure uh, with the shortest platform being maybe like 10 feet off the ground, uh, then 20 feet for the next one, and 30 feet for the largest one in the back. Well, I'm like... uh, with with crossways and staircases connecting the three. Okay. Um, in fact, uh, let me just try to get a snipping here so I can show you what we're looking at here. All right. So... Sorry, uh, I'm going to put this in week weekend scheduling. Okay, I see. Yep. Oh, I can't. <laughs> right, to keep this set up, I can't actually look at it. Just Desc Describe it. <laughs> oh, wait, Tim, no, I have my it. phone. What am I doing? It's so stupid. I just put, I like, phone. what you're looking at up in the... Uh... Oh, my mistake? Okay. Yeah. It. Is this the tower? Yeah, this is what the tower looks like, the three platforms. Okay. As you arrive at the compound, uh, you notice three apes uh, kind of like just lazing around. Some are asleep. Some are just kind of dicking around uh, with an oversized pair of dice. Uh, and what first ticks you off that these are not normal apes is they've got some swords nearby. Uh, and there's another brown ha another brown bear using an outhouse. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's out in front of, that you can see out in front of the building there. Somebody. Uh, the door to the central platform uh, is very heavily locked from what you can see. Um, and and uh, as you approach, what do you want to do? Kevin, what do you think we should do? Keep in mind, the, the polymorphed animals outside have not noticed you. Oh, okay. <laughs> We can try, right? Are there any windows? Um, not any that look particularly big, just big enough to let some light in. Um, do you want to try to like sneak around uh, the animals outside to get a closer look at the building? Yes. Oh, uh, this all is all right. Um, so I'm gonna need you all to make a stealth check. Oh, uh, this so is a good on... one, Tim. I have disadvantage with stealth, so this is going to be fun. <laughs> Got it. And you're a big dragonborn paladin. That's not shocking. All to right. everyone on your like skills, uh, just click the number next to stealth. I got. Let me know what you get. Even you got an eighteen. I got a nineteen plus three. All right. So lucky you. Uh, everybody makes it. <laughs> uh, the apes and especially the bear do not notice you. Cool. All right. Um, so as you're like creeping up, um, you get up close to the main door to the largest platform. You sneak up this like, grassy platform off to the right. And while it is heavily locked, I feel like if you did a really good, <clears throat> you might be able to get it. Or maybe if you're feeling sneakier, you might be able to pick it. I'll pick it. Fuck it. You have thieves tools? Uh, check your inventory, folks. Uh, you do not. I have a crowbar. Let's hold off on that. All right. Let's well, let me take a quick look around here. Crowbar, dagger, disguise kit, leather, long sword, rations, water skin. I'm oh. gonna say no unless you have a thieves kit. Um, Kevin, you're a large dragon. 
Do you want to maybe try to mm, the door? As uh, as Finn O'Hara is going through like his backpack trying to find it, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to I'm just gonna try to punch the door open. All right, roll me a strength check. All right, let's see. Uh, does this go into anything like uh, ath- not athletics? Let's see. Yeah, it's an athletics check. Is it an athletics check? Okay, athletics, nineteen, so twenty-two. <laughs> All right. Uh, also, roll me a stealth check, real quick. With the disadvantage, of course, yeah. my friend. I have a fifteen. <laughs> All right. The door busts down, and shockingly, the apes and bear don't hear you. <laughs> Craig, master of stealth. <laughs> uh, however, the same can't be said for the uh, human wizard who is kind of lounging in uh, the bedroom that you just busted a door into. This is Ahmed Noak. And upon seeing you, and more importantly, upon seeing the sheep, he gets a very annoyed look. Can Craig How? just, like, slowly close the you? door? Is this your place? <laughs> Well, I was working on a spell, but clearly there are bigger things to deal with right now. So, you've brought me the sheep. Are you looking for a reward? Actually, I I sent my man Guz after it. What happened with him? Well, you see, uh, your wizardness, uh, we beat his ass, killed his bear... And had his wolves run for the hills. Can I roll for an individual? <sighs> Craig and friends may have hit him in the dick. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can I roll for intimidation on this one? Uh, you know what? Sure, roll intimidation. Okay. Uh, um, let me just check something. That was good. That was really good. And that was a... So, while not shitting his pants, he is definitely a little shaken by the heavily armed trio in front of him. I... Um... Look, I don't know what that fool told you, but I did what I needed to do. He was a boastful, egotistical has-been. I knew he was never going to get me, let me be any more than his second wheel, the shadow that I would never escape. I did what I had to to get the power I rightfully deserve. Yeah, well, he maybe has been, pal, but you were never was. All he has is this wand. And now that it's mine, he doesn't even have that anymore. Um. Oh, hold on a sec. Acrobatics. <laughs> oh, never um... mind. <laughs> and with that, uh, Noak rings a, like pulls on a rope that rings a bell. And outside, you hear the apes scrambling to try to get their shit together. And you hear very annoyed grunts coming from the outhouse. Um. I have an animal handling thing. Can I use that? Uh, you want to try to, like, shoo away the polymorphed animals? Yeah. All right. I'm going to say you can try that, but with disadvantage because they are polymorphed. They're human people that were turned into animals. Okay. So, uh, oh, shit. I have a plus two bonus. Should I, we just remove the bonus? Just, no, 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 just click that and roll it twice, and whichever is your lowest one uh, is what we're going to go with. Got it. Oh, so I should have... Not great. Oh. Really not great. Cool. So, unfortunately, uh, they kind of look at you, like, as if to communicate, we're still people, asshole. <laughs> can, you, can you blame a guy? Uh, in this case, yes. Yes, they can. Uh, wait, can I use persuasion or performance? Um... I mean, I'm going to say they're not, like, the apes have made it into the room, but the bear has not. Uh, some growls coming from outside indicate he hasn't finished his business. Oh, boy. This guy, fucking, 
I've been there. When you have a poop that's halfway down, and you get called in for, to finish up a job, uh, so you just kind of have to clench your butt cheeks, and, man, you just want to punch the shit out of your boss. Dude, I get it, man. I've been there before. Is this the persuasion check? <laughs> it is the persuasion check. Can I go for it? Uh, again, the bear's not in the room, so I'm going to say no. Okay. Fuck. Gross. Look, guys, I'm sorry. No, fuck, we're not going with this. Kevin, you can do something. Okay, it's up to Craig. Does Craig have time to knock over the outhouse? <laughs> okay, you guys are inside. Okay, yeah, so no, we're inside. No, no, the bear is not a thing. Okay. Alright, so. Uh, can I do... Can I do quick intimidation, like, you, you really don't want a part of this, or... To the apes? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure. Roll me an intimidation check. Okay. It's a 17. Let's say one of the apes uh, wised up and ran away. All right. Thank. I'll I'll take that. Got it. <sighs> uh, so real quick, while I edit that encounter to remove an ape. Uh, does Talos want to throw in anything? Um, you know what, uh, Talos, uh, what will Talos do? Oh, I know exactly what Talos is going to do. Uh, Talos is going to lean out the door and use prestidigitation to make sure that bear is going to take a bit of time. <laughs> oh my fucking god, you're a monster. Craig does a thumbs up to <laughs> For context, Dallas. Tim, one of Prestidigitation's uses is anything within a five-foot space, he can soil or clean instantly. Those are the words. Oh. In other words, I caused the bear to shit itself. On the toilet, but still. He, he ain't going anywhere for a while. All right. All right, so down to two apes uh, and Ahmed himself. No, himself, uh, who is kind of keeping his distance. He's on a higher part of the room than the rest of you. Very intentionally, it looks like. Uh, do you guys want to individually roll, or I can auto-roll initiative for everybody? Uh, let's just auto-roll initiative. Why not? All right, let's start. All right, so Talos is up first. Um, so he is going to, he's going to try to, uh, he finds what looks like a pretty heavy size, heavy looking chair nearby and is going to use catapult to fling it at, uh, one of the apes. Uh, so the ape needs to make a dexterity check. Ooh, that is going to come smashing down on that ape's head. Uh, for 12 damage. Holy shit, Talos. Mm -hmm. He killed him. Not quite, but it's hurting. Oh my god, the ape is now down to 7 health. So, uh, where is everybody in relation right now? Sorry. Oh, wait, hold on, I'll wait my turn, my bad. <laughs> Uh, so if you look at the uh, little diagram, you guys are in the major part, like the half circle part of that room. Uh, Noke has kind of like climbed his way up to the dining room area, which I'm going to say is a higher elevation, kind of looking down on it. Okay. Uh, while you three are in this like main room here uh, with the two apes. Okay. You you're well. very much getting the feeling... Noke is not the bravest sort. Okay. Mm. Uh, and then for his bonus action, what is Talos going to do for his bonus action? Um, You know, he's got... No, he's not going to do anything just yet. Okay. Uh, which means it's now going to be the ape that he just injured's turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
and the ape is going to try to roll a uh, try to punch uh, Talos there in retaliation for that very heavy chair that was dropped on his head. But, yeah. And it's not going to hit. God damn. Tal Talos got that natural armor and that he's a fucking robot. <laughs> oh, but uh, he has multi attack, so he's going to try to swing again. Still not going to hit. God damn. This ape can't catch a break. Damn. Oh, yeah. The second ape uh, is going to aim at Finn. <laughs> Uh, uh, he's gonna throw a rock at you. Uh, can I deflect the rock like a baseball hitting a uh, baseball bat hitting a ball? No, because he rolled a nineteen on the hit check, and that's gonna do five damage. Five damage? What the fuck? It's a it's a d six plus three. He rolled a two. Five damage. God damn! Back down to eighteen. Be made of metal or be a paladin next time, maybe. <laughs> alright, Finn, your turn. Alright, alright, alright. Now I'm pissed. Now I'm fucking pissed. I'm gonna fucking just take a huge swing with my sword at this ape. Alright. So roll uh, for... Roll, roll hit. Deck. Oh, it's on, motherfucker. Okay, that's definitely hitting. Uh, roll damage. Alright, uh, that's not going to do a whole lot, but their health bars aren't that huge anyway, so he's down to 15 health. Got it. Uh, do you want to do a bonus action? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, Can I use my sword again? No. Alright, then I'll just... I'm going to say two weapon fighting means you can't use the same weapon twice. Fine. I'll just hit him. Just punch the monkey. Punch him in the fucking tit. Uh, that's not gonna hit. Damn, okay. Alright, Craig, your turn. Uh, are they all lined up, or no? Uh, the apes are both, like, in front of you three. Like, you guys were just inside the room, and the apes busted in behind you. Okay, so... If I could line up all is it two or three uh it's two of them one of them fled because of the intimidation check right right that's right good job craig so if if i use my breath weapon is uh talus in danger um i'm gonna say not okay would it hit both uh, the apes? but the well no actually no everything yeah so the apes need to do a dexterity save so give me a second uh, and just to double check, the save is 12. Um, so let's see, ape number one uh, dodges it. Dang. And ape number two does not. Oh. All right, uh, full damage on that. All right. It is 12. So one right, takes that, six. That ape is on his last legs, and uh, you can see Noke is getting kind of nervous. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, do you want to do a bonus action? Uh, let me just double check the breath because first I gotta check it off. And uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Oh, sorry, I thought it did like half to the other one, but whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna use the. Oh, hold on, let me double check. Yeah, because I thought we went over this last time. Yeah, because it says half damage oh, okay. on success. Yeah, um, my bad. And then, so that... Okay, so that... Uh, it doesn't kill the other one, but again, both of these monkeys are near dead. Okay. Okay. Uh, Craig is going to use his longsword on the closest one because that makes sense all right uh roll the hit check and that's a 23 fuck okay so uh we're gonna say ape c uh here is now dead oh oh man 11 to yep all right uh now it's noke's turn and noke is looking fucking like he's gonna shit himself <laughs> Um, 
However, he does still have some... Uh, like, he's still kind of there, like, able to maintain his senses a little bit. Okay. And he's going to try to... Let's see, what is he going to do? Excuse me. Uh, he is going to try to use Ray of Frost on, uh, let's say, Craig. Not Craig. Okay. Uh, is this a... Uh, do I just take it? Is it a constitution check? What? It, what's going on? Uh, uh, so it's going to hit you. Okay. Uh, and that is going to do... 1d8. Wait, no. Yeah, 1d8. Uh, take 4 damage. Alright. 4. He sees how little that did to you, and it makes him all the more scared. <laughs> Who's scared? No, he's shitting himself. Oh. Because the attack he tried to do to, like, save himself did nothing. Mm -hmm. Cool. Who's next? Talos and Talos isn't fancy. He's not a fancy boy. Uh, so he's just gonna do unarmed strike on uh, the last ape. Um, that is gonna hit, and that is gonna kill that last ape. <clears throat> and after seeing this, uh, no, please the room into like retreating into his bedroom and he's you just kind of like talos kind of calmly approaches the door like and as he's about to open it you hear some weird noises like some psh, magical noises as talos is about to open the door he's knocked back to where you guys are as noke reemerges, riding what at first looks like a red dragon wormling <gasps> only you realize something. It's made of wood. It is with horrid realization that you realize in his desperation, Nok has turned his own bed into a dragon. <laughs> the bed dragon wormling. <laughs> and it is now said dragon wormling's turn. Uh... Being that uh, he is uh, the nearest one, he's going to aim for Talos and use his breath attack. Splinter breath. Why is Craig rolling to hit? I, did, I didn't roll to hit. Oh, I didn't. Um, so Talos needs to make a dexterity saving throw. So Talos manages to roll out of the way. Uh, mostly, at least, of as fucking splinters rain down from this dragon's mouth. Uh, does, however, take seven points of damage. Damn. So... Hmm. Uh, this thing is like flapping around. It clearly doesn't have any intelligence, what with the fact it used to be a bed. But Noke is riding on its back, uh, and kind of giving it orders. See, part of me is like, I want to do the cat thing where you're like, well, again, it's not a cat; it's a bed. It's basically a mount. Like a, it's oh. like it's like trying to call to a bike. Got it. So it's not gonna do a damn thing. All right. Um, but it hey, is your turn, Tim. Craig. Um, see, I kind of want to use thunderclap, but uh, by doing that, I kind of risk damaging everybody else in the party. Mm -hmm. Let me double check the details on that. Da -da -da -da. 
So you have to do a saving throw. Hmm. It's risky. I'm gonna say that your allies are smart enough to kind of like get behind you when you do this. Okay. So should I just hit? Oh, uh, uh, the so Noke and the dragon need to make Constitution saving throws. One second. Um, Constitution is thirteen, by the way. All right, so that's dragons, and then Nook's. Okay, they're both going to take uh, damage from that, so roll me a d6. d6, like a d6. Oh! Ooh, full six. Very nice, very nice. Damn. Uh, of also, course, as of the course. fight goes on, I'm going to remind you guys, this thing is made of wood. Hint, hint. Oh my god. Uh, Tim, do you want to take a bonus action? Yeah. I'm going to take a slice of this fucking dragon. Alright, you're going to try to swing at him with your longsword? Yeah, I'm doing it. Alright, roll a hit check. Hop! Nat 20, bitch. Alright, so that's going for the dragon. Uh, roll damage. Seven. Oh, shit, wait a minute. What? what was that? Yeah, what the fuck? It rolled two die. Oh, because you hit a crit, because you rolled 20. Oh, okay, cool. So I did 14 damage. All right. God, how fucked up, the, how fucked up is this thing now? Jesus. Uh, not as much as you'd hope. It, though it is only in, rep, in resemblance, it's still affected by a wand of true polymorph. So it effectively is a dragon still. A small one, and one that's made of wood and dumb as a brick, but a dragon. Alright, Craig, you're up. Alright. Craig is going to... the breath weapon is still, like, on cooldown. Yeah, yeah, of course. Craig is going to uh, roll his longsword, because he's mad. Because he's mad, because... He doesn't know that it's a bed. He just thinks that it's like a wooden idol of a dragon. He's so like, he's like, oh, this God. is basically like des desecrating a god, and I rolled an eight, so it's not going to do anything. <laughs> no, it is not. Well, shit. The, the dragon kind of just like veers through the air away from your swing. So basically, Craig is just swinging at the air. <laughs> All right, does Craig want to take a bonus action? Well, let's see. Oops, my bad. Uh, my bad. I gotta read what Sanctuary does, because that's the other one I'm curious about. You're the Sanctuary. Uh, Sanctuary. It's a first level spell. Uh, you ward a creature within range uh, against attack. Until the spell ends, any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack or a harmful spell must first make a wisdom saving throw. On a fail save, the creature must choose a new target or lose uh, the attacker spell. Okay. The spell doesn't protect the warded creature from area effects such as explosion or a fireball or a breath weapon. Okay, so for bonus action, like uh, two weapon fight. Okay, no, that doesn't count as uh, I can't just like heal. Also, if the creature you've warded does anything like an attack, an action, a spell, whatever, it dispels the barrier. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, you can do an unarmed strike, or you can do that. Up to you. I will... Uh... You know what? Let's, 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 let's do it. I, I channel a barrier around, uh around uh finn all right um so tim until you make an action or anything uh any uh, enemy attacking you must make a wisdom saving throw or pick a new target and if they fail pick a new target or sacrifice their attack yeah which, which is good timing because noke's turn is next and he is looking drunk with power on top of his wooden bed dragon um 
so much so that he is going to uh, use. Uh, what is he going to do? Oh. He's going to use Thunder Wave. Why not? Uh, everybody make a Constitution saving throw. Except ten, or okay, so saving throws. Oh, there we well, go. No, it doesn't. It doesn't uh, in affect area of effect stuff. Remember. Right. Okay. Uh, I got a ten. Um. Let's see. Thunder waves. DC is. Uh, Tim, do you, uh, roll a saving throw. Yeah. Um. Uh, what do I roll for a saving? Constitution. Constitution. What the fuck? Um. Uh, what do I roll for Constitution? Oh wait, right here. Yeah, yeah. Saving throw. Roll Constitution. Got it. Oh no. So, Talos is fine. He's grounded. But uh, you guys are going to take. Um, two D eight thunder damage. Hold on. Oh, that's not good. Okay, four damage each. Oh, so um, so I'm at fourteen HP right now. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Back up to Talos. Talos, now that he's regained his senses after being knocked back by that dra that bed dragon, has also pieced together that this thing is in fact made of wood. So he's going to create his Eldritch Cannon, specifically Flamethrower. <laughs> oh uh, he's going to use his bonus action and aim that at the dragon. For 2d8 fire damage. Oh. Well, it's 2, but he has dis... Or, but he's weak to that. Um, let me double check how that works. check something so it means he takes double uh which means he's gonna take four damage not a lot but it's something wait did you get two ones no, i got yes i did <laughs> it wasn't a it wasn't a strong roll for talus's cannon okay oh. all right uh and now it's the Wormling's turn. Uh, much like Mario bapping Yoshi on the back of the head to get him to stick out his tongue, uh, Noke uh, baps it on the, the dragon on the back of its head to try to swing down and take a bite out of Craig. Craig! Oh, God, no. Uh, rolled a 14. Doesn't do anything. Cool. A Your giant wooden fucked. fucking dragon doesn't do shit to Craig? <laughs> Uh, Alright, Tim, your turn. <sighs> can I attack just Snoke himself? Or Noke, or whatever his name yeah, is? Yeah, you can. Absolutely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna, I'm gonna slice this motherfucker. Just try to, like, jump up. Uh, so being that he's on top of the dragon and you're trying to do a melee attack, uh, roll me an acrobatics check. Oh. So I'm going to say you don't quite make it, and that's going to instead hit the dragon. Roll damage. Uh, can we count the damage I rolled? Yeah, no, it's I'm still counting that hit check. All right, my mistake. Uh, There's something really bothering me about Ugly Stonic staring right at me in the stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to do a bonus action? Um, I want to 
I want to punch the dragon. No bardic inspiration? Got it. Just punch him. No, no fuck it. Bardic inspiration. And I'm going to give that to Talos. All right. Talos is feeling inspired. Hold on. Where's the bardic inspiration button? Okay. No, it's on here somewhere. There it is. Yes. Inspired. Um, all right. Craig, you're up. Craig is going to use his Lay on Hands pool to heal uh, Finn a little bit. All right. How much are you restoring? Uh, I have 20. What's your max right now? <sighs> uh, Finn's current max health is 23. He's at 14. Okay, I'm going to heal him to... Uh... No, I'll, I'll heal him to max. How much is that again? Uh, that'd be nine. So yeah, subtract yeah, nine from your lay on hands pool. Yep. Subtract nine from that. Boom. You're at full health. All right, Tim. Reset your health to full. Okay. Did it. Mm -hmm. All and right. Then... And Kevin, do you uh, have a bonus action? Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to, I'm going to slash at the dragon with my sword. Can I just say, now that I've been healed, I can feel. I can fight. fight. <laughs> uh, one of these days, I'm gonna make one of you have to wear glasses and lose them. I. Well, I already have glasses, well, and I rolled uh, a that's one. Not doing anything. Nope. All right, Noke's turn. Uh, he is going to try to cast Ray of Frost on the newly heal healed Finn. Uh, so... So, uh... Tim, uh... Hold on. Uh... You're in luck. It doesn't hit you. He rolled really terribly. Can I do something in retaliation? Uh, what do you have as far as reaction actions? Uh... No, 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 he didn't roll that bad, so I'm going to say no. Okay. That doesn't count as an opportunity attack. Okay. All right, back to Talos, who is still, like, he's been kind of pep-talking, like, you think you saw him talking to his cannon and trying to give it a pep-talk? Uh, but the can uh, well, that's actually his bonus action. So first, he is going to try to fire his crossbow up at Noak. Uh, which is going to hit. Cool. Um, and that's going to do four damage. And then for his bonus action, uh, his cannon is going to take another flamethrower shot at the dragon, um, which is... Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'll just cannon flamethrower... Uh, the dragon has to make a dex save of 13. Fuck. <laughs> the dragon rolled a nat 20. Just gracefully dodges out of the way in a way you didn't think a bed dragon could do. And it is now the dragon's turn again. You're all lucky he has a recharge delay on his flinter breath. But he's going to try to take a bite out of Talos. Damn, Talos. That's going to hit. Yeah, Talos is going to take six damage. Uh, you notice a two-sized dent in, his, in our boy's cranium there. Oh. Oh, no. All right, Finn, your turn. Tim? I'm sorry? Your turn. Um, I'm going to hit the dragon. Hit the dragon? With the sword. With the sword. With the sword. All right, roll the hit. That's not going to do it, unfortunately. All right. Uh, want to do a bonus action? Can I hit him with a spell? Uh, you can. 
Well, no, no, actually, no, that's not a bonus action. No, you can't. Uh, I'm going to give Bark Inspiration to Kevin. To Craig, I mean. All right, uh, Kevin, activate your Bardic Inspiration going forward. Yay. You be so kind. Okay. All, All right. right, and Craig's turn. Craig is going to... What what's what's Talos at? Talos is at twenty two out of thirty five. Okay, Talos is. Uh, interestingly enough, the same as his initiative. Nice. Talos. Okay, it's time. Okay, <laughs> please. T t Craig is going to please, for the love of God, hit. Use his long sword on the. Uh... On the, on dragon. the dragon or on Noak? Well, I have to do like an athletic. Oh, I could actually do an athletics check to see. What you know? What? Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Craig is going to do. Is going to try uh, to jump on I'm top of the say dragon. It's actually an acrobatics check because he's pretty high up. Oh, athletic. Oh, hold on. Let me check acrobatics. Because that's different. Okay, yeah. Never mind. I thought you my I, I got them both mixed no. up. Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking try to take down the dragon. All right, just take a swing at the dragon. Yeah, yeah, please. All right, roll the hit. Twelve, seventeen. All uh, right, uh, that is going to hit. Roll damage. All right. It's an eight, but I'm going to use my uh, my spell slot here. Uh, to add sm holy smite. Yep. Who do you hit? The dragon. the dragon. So what is that? That's two d six, two d eights, two d sixes. Let me check. You're the one with it in front of you. Tell me. I I keep misclicking. Give me a minute. Okay, divine smite. Da da da. da two 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 d eight. So it's better than what I thought. And that's going to be eleven on top of that. So that's total of uh, 15. Oh, it's 8 and... Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, 19. Yeah, 19. Uh, the dragon kind of screeches from that. Uh, that seemed to deal a good blow. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'm going to say that was your bonus action to charge that with smite. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Noak's turn again. He feels the dragon kind of like shake underneath him. Uh, and he is going to, uh, he's like, oh, fucking red of, red of magic, uh, and he's going to try to fling his dagger down at Craig. He's, he's going to just chuck a dragon, a dagger at Craig? <laughs> and it hits. Oh. Uh, for, for damage. Wow, Craig just keeps getting four damage, doesn't he? Seems like. All right. All right, Talos' turn again. Uh, he's going to take another shot at uh, Noke himself with his crossbow. Woo, 19. That's going to hit. And... That's going to do four damage. And then with his bonus action, he's going to uh, aim the Eldritch Cannon Flamethrower at him again, uh, the, at the dragon, uh, who then has to do a dexterity save. Ooh, that's going to hit. <laughs> that's going to hit. For 12 damage. Uh, which is doubled because the dragon is vulnerable. 24. The dragon is just on fire. Noke is kind of panicking. And the dragon is just slowly burning to ash. It's down to three health. Okay. Uh, desperate and flailing, the dragon reels back uh, and launches a uh, splinter breath at the party. Everybody make a dexterity or a cons or yeah, dexterity saving throw. Uh oh, fifteen. Uh got eleven. 
Uh, Tim got a five, and Kevin got fifteen. Uh, so Kevin dodges. Uh, Tim and I not so much. We are each gonna take. Oh God. Say it. Fuck. How much? Can you not see that in the log? Uh, no. Oh, uh, actually, just I think you did roll to self because we just have your last dex check. Cool. Then I'm gonna uh, use my power as the DM to uh, magically tell you something. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna do uh twenty damage. Oh, so I'm That's on my ten line. damage to Kevin too. You don't get away scot free. Well, of course. So we're down to three health. Well, I'm down to three health. Well, I healed you last time, though. Wait, even still? Yeah, All right. Kevin, 20. So I have to choose who to save. Because <laughs> Talos is at two. Because Talos is at two. Tim's at three. I'm at 14. <laughs> and I only have uh, 11 heals. <laughs> whose turn is it? Uh, it is now your turn. What health is the dragon at? Uh, three health. He is just literally like steps away from being a pile of lo like burning sitting there. I'm going for a long sword hit. Roll the hit. That's gonna hit. Roll damage. What happens? The dragon collapses into like splinters and ash. Uh. Noak is left standing in the rubble, powerfully clutching the wand of true polymorph to his chest like it's his only like hope of survival in the world. In fact, so much so that in his utter desperation, he uses he turns it on himself. I'll never let that babbling fool win. I, I, I swear it. If it's Wait. the last thing I do. Wait. The wand, God. though, having been used so extremely to turn all of his minions in, and now even his bed into animals, an inanimate object itself uh, is barking and fizzing and not really doing what it's supposed to. And suddenly, Noak turns into a gibbering mouther. A what? Uh, a gibbering mouther is basically a giant, like, blob of uh, just gross flesh, eyes, and mouths. So do we have to fight it? Uh... Kinda. It's it seems like not all there. It's very weak looking compared to how a normal one would be. And it's so, just babbling in random attacks. But yes, you do have to fight it. So Uh it's your turn, Tim. You haven't done or you have a bonus action still. Um does he have the same health? He's actually down to twenty two health. The spell was really like Again, the wand kind of backfired on him. This was not his plan, obviously. In fact, you question if this thing can even still be counted as Ahmed Noak. Is there a way I can intimidate the thing to go away? Or no? I'm going to say no. Alright. Um, let me look at my attacks. Um... Also, note that one of your bonus actions, you can use Healing Word. Fuck, I'm going to use Healing Word on myself. So that's going to be 1d4 plus a uh, spellcasting modifier to uh, uh, heal yourself. So for you, that would be uh, roll a d4 plus 5. Uh, I, I rolled a d4 plus 3. No, plus 5. That's because you're, you're barred. Your spellcasting modifier is charisma. I landed on a 4, so plus 5, that would be 9. Alright, so heal yourself for 9. And plus 3, that would be 12. I'm at 12 health. Alright. Craig, you're up. Craig's gonna 
Craig's just going to use the rest of his healing on Talos, I guess. How much do you have left? Eleven. You... Alright, so you're just going to spend all eleven left in your pool on Talos? I mean, I guess. Tim's at, like... Tim's alright now. Talos is at, all like, right. two. How... Talos is now up to thirteen health. Okay. Uh, do you want to use your bonus action? Yeah. Let's let's slice let's slice him. All right, roll hit. Ah, oh, goddamn, it's an eight. <laughs> Barely not gonna hit. This thing's armor class is actually pretty low. All right, well, shit. Um, okay, the mouther is kind of just like flailing and babbling. And it is going to uh, try to take a bite out of Craig. Uh, it's not going to hit, but he has multi-attack, so he's going to try again. Still not going to hit. This thing's just kind of like trying to take snaps at you. Like, like little mouths keep extending out at you trying to bite. You can tell it's very angry, even if it might not be intelligent enough Wait. to tell why anymore. How how big is this thing? Oh, it's... Um, one moment. Uh, a gibbering mouther... It doesn't really say, but it's kind of like just very blobbish. Like, it's hard to get a grasp on how actually big it is because it's constantly, like, shifting around. All right, Talos' turn. Uh, now, kind of no longer close to death, uh, he is going to take his mace and just take a fucking swing at this thing. <clears throat> and he rolls a 18. Hell yeah. And that is going to be... Uh, ba, 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 ba. a two. <laughs> he he's still disoriented. Uh, this not he wasn't able to put it into it as much as a swing as he wanted to, but he still got his cannon out for his bonus action. So, uh, with that, uh, the thing needs to make a dexterity save of thirteen. One moment. <laughs> Uh, and that's going to hit for seven damage. Nice. All right. All right. Uh, Tim, you're up again. Fuck it. What health is this thing at? Uh, 13. Let me see something real quick. Thunderclap. What's damage on this fucking thing? One d six for damage. That's too risky. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're doing long sword. We're going. We're going to slice this fucking thing. All right. Give me a hit check. Damn. Never mind. Uh, no, you're not gonna hit. All right. Bonus action. Um. What? Do you want to try to punch it with your bonus action? Punch it. All right, roll to hit. That is going to hit. Where was that earlier? That's going to deal four damage. I'm just sorry. Like, I'm so disoriented and tired. That Craig, I admit... up. All right. This thing's down to nine health. All right. It's time. How destroyed is everything in the room? Uh, pretty banged up, uh, especially with when the the bed dragon was firing splinter breath off. That was really like messing up everything. Okay. First, I'm gonna roll my longsword roll. Go ahead. That's gonna be a twelve, so that's not that's gonna, gonna work. Hit. No, it's gonna hit. This yeah. thing has low AC. All right, let me let me try slashing it. It's an eleven, and that is going to, as you drive your longsword into what used to be Ahmed Noak, the gibbering mass of flesh and mouths 
quietly and wheezingly collapses to the ground into a pile of mush. As the as it what's left of him seemingly evaporates, all that's left in his place is the still sparking wand of true polymorph. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, what would you like to do? Craig is gonna pick it up, just toss it over to the sheep. <laughs> Well, Just like... the sheep doesn't have hands, Kevin. Oh, well. <laughs> Shit. Here, here. here. I so, retrieve the wand. As you pick up the wand, it becomes very obvious that it is damaged. No, oh. clearly overused it in his thirst for power. Um, The whole group kind of gathers around and examines it. Uh, In fact, Talos, who has Arcana, uh, looks at it. Uh, and examines it and can see that it's kind of been modified like Nook was trying to do something with it uh, to try to make it be used more often, like more frequently but overuse has thus uh, rendered it extremely unreliable, thus leading to the backfiring we saw Is there anything um, As you're examining the Shine Bright like kind of cautiously walks into the room and regards the puddle that used to be his apprentice Shine Bright, is there anything we can do to fix this? Um, this is my fault. I drove him to this. Nah, man, you're being a little too hard on yourself. Look at the pile that used to be my apprentice. Hey, man, he's an asshole. That's not, that's not your fault. Isn't it? He's not exactly wrong. I I valued the wand more than anything. Well, I basically treated him like an errand boy more than an apprentice. Let me put it this way, pal. I have a father figure myself. And he did everything he could to raise me right. And I ended up burning down the church. What the hell? But it's a long way of comforting me. I'm just saying. It's not your fault. Well, regardless, what of my wand? Uh, have you found it? Uh, uh, Craig found stick. Really badly damaged stick. <laughs> oh, what did he do to it? Oh, no. According to Talos, this thing's beyond damage. It's been modified way too much. Yes, I can tell. You're probably trying to gain more from it. Can we give it a shot? Maybe try to turn it back into a person? I can't continue living like a sheep. Even with the risks, I must attempt to regain my true form. Craig gives I the can wand. grab the wand and like poke him on the head with it, see if it works. Um... <laughs> well, first off, uh, know that trying to make this wand work will require a lot of magic saving throws. Want to try it? Is that intelligence? Wisdom? What is it? Uh, hold on, let me double check all this. I was going to give the wand back to the sheep, but if you want to give it a shot and risk... <laughs> well, he, he, he just wants to turn back to a person. So, the person... Uh, if you try to use this, you have to pass a DC 17 Arcana check. Arcana, okay. Arcana. Which is oh. based on your intelligence modifier. So I'm going to go ahead and disqualify Craig. Craig has well, I zero. <laughs> I have a plus one uh, intelligence. Talos has plus five. I'm sorry? So if we're going to do this, it's probably the best to hand it off to him. All right, Talos. Roll the die. Are you sure? Pal? If we fail... What happened to Noak could seem like child's play as to what will happen to him. Buddy, we've been through a lot worse. Very well. Tell us, to... <laughs> takes the wand in his hand and attempts to cast polymo- true polymorph on the sheep. <laughs> 
And oh. he rolled a nat 20. Holy shit. Crates. Shines robot man. <laughs> in, a, in a puff of smoke where once stood a sheep now stands a tall high elf wizard. He is immediately ecstatic to reg regain his true form and deeply and truly congratulates and thanks all three of you. Um, hey. Did you always not have an ass? What? Yeah, That's you're the first ass. thing you say to me. After I've finally been returned to this form, after pulling off that spell, you ask if I've always not had an ass? No, like, dude, there's no crack there. Wait. <laughs> I'm wearing clothes, asshole. <laughs> Wait. Now, you have my deepest gratitude. I must go about trying to pick up the pieces from where my apprentice left them and try to be better to those in the future. Well, it's worth a shot. I bid you well on your further adventures. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Are we forgetting something here? Ah. Uh, what would you be meaning by that? Don't fucking try to cheat us out of this shit, pal. I'm sorry, my memory as a sheep was somewhat spotty. Uh, can I roll intimidation to get him to fucking pay up? Sure, roll intimidation. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, okay, it was a joke. It was a joke. Uh, <laughs> of course I remembered my promise of compensation. Now, where did I leave my my coin? Uh, oh, that's concerning. Oh, no. Uh, as he goes to where he would normally keep all of his uh, valuables, he finds very little there. And he's like, I know how this looks, but I promise you... I am not destitute, or at least I wasn't before I was turned into a sheep. Looking uh -huh. around, you notice various things that indicate Noak was pretty much bankrupt and sold most of the items in the house to pay for his research materials and the guards that he turned into animals. I, I, this is embarrassing, I will say. However, I, I think I might be able to compensate you in another way. Um... With that, um, let me check something here. Did Craig kill God? <laughs> <clears throat> what? You did, not, you did not kill People God. tell Craig. Alice Craig... puts a hand on Craig's shoulder. It was just a bed. And as you like, both glance over to where the, the splinters of the bed dragon were, you notice that it's kind of reverted back into now a broken bed instead of a broken wooden dragon. Oh. Uh, what are we waiting on right now? Can... Um, sorry, I'm just trying to check something that I can give. Can I do a medicine check to try to heal the bed? <laughs> yes, please. It's a fucking 20 with the plus one medicine check. <laughs> I think Craig fixed the bed by accident. <laughs> I healed the bed. I didn't fix it. I basically just successfully put medicine on the bed. <laughs> Alright, so he offers to gift you uh, one magic uh, that he has kept in his possession. Okay. One second. Craig healed your bed. <laughs> Craig, we're dying here and you're fucking healing beds? Craig used medicine check. That's how medicine check work, right? <laughs> I 
Hold on, let me do an insight check real quick. <laughs> a what check? <laughs> let me do an insight Aha! check. <laughs> I knew I kept it in here somewhere. It's really not much, but it's all I have now after my apprentice squandered my wealth. But I do owe you much in return. And with that, he hands you a bag of holding. Specifically, three bags of holding, one for each of you. Okay. So everybody go into your character sheets and add a bag of holding to your inventory. Sweet. Uh, bag of holding. There we go. Wondrous item. Nice. Uh, add item. I will warn you, however, uh, I've had apprentices in the past that have died in less noble ways than Noak when they tried to put various uh, other spatial items into their bags of holding, including other bags of holding. It doesn't end well. Don't do it. So I don't know what a bag of holding is, so I just typed it in, a bag of holding. Yep. Well, now, if you go to your character sheet in inventory and hit add items to your backpack, you can search bag of holding and it'll be there. Uh, What's in the bag of holding? Like... Okay. What the fuck? Where's the... Uh... In your inventory tab, like say your action spells, inventory, all that, go to the inventory yeah. tab. Okay, I'm there. Uh, under like your backpack or equipment, uh, you can click add equipment or add, uh, add, yeah, add equipment, and then it'll give you a search bar. Or you can type in bag of holding. Wait, Craig realized something. Got it. Got it. What's up? Craig asks Shine Bright. Craig, wonder you got laxatives. <laughs> uh, as you look outside, a very uh. Conf Oh yeah, Talos has. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> leans out the door again and casts Prestidigitation again. And after a moment of now non less, a lot less bear-like grumbles, you see a very confused man emerge from the outhouse. Look around, realize what's going on, and run into the woods. <laughs> <laughs> with that, and with your reward, get. Returned as best he can. Shine bright sends you on your way. And with that, we've concluded a wild sheep chase. And thank you for watching. Yeah. Fools and fables. All right, all right. Let's. If you like this, let us know. I would like to start like kind of working on longer campaigns, but that'll take some time to get ready. Yeah. Uh, but I thought this was a lot of fun. We hope you did too. Yeah. Just. In the future, we'll probably try to find ways to make it more visually interesting. But that's yeah. A future well... thought. I, I do think it would be best if we got tabletop back up, I think. I think that would be good. If we can. My problem yeah. with it is it's just so unreliable. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Like, it's yeah. great when it works. When it works. Yeah, that's true. I just I just appreciate that we didn't even talk about how... Uh... <laughs> how does medicine work, by the way? I need to ask about that. <laughs> What do you mean? Uh, I have a plus one in medicine. What does that mean? Uh, basically, like, different, like, healing actions. I assume not the magic variety can be buffed by that. So... Uh, it should automatically account for that in your rolls if you're doing it through the actions. So if I use medicine on the remains of the bed, is the bed fixed or is it not fixed? <laughs> is there just... I mean, it's a bed. <laughs> It's a bed. <laughs> but I did roll a 20 on the medicine. <laughs> that doesn't matter. It's still a bed. You're basically... You're trying to bandage up a pile of burning splinters. And I did it successfully. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Uh, guys, don't forget to long rest your characters so they're not dying anymore. They're, yeah. yeah they're, they're, my characters, we're reeling from this one. <laughs>